Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to farm ironwood. But before I do that, I just want to show you the results. The way this method works is the ironwood will respawn every 12 minutes. So you chop down the wood, you log out to preserve your food buffs, and then you log back in every 12 minutes, assuming you're doing other things in the, in the game or in another game or, or the world or in your you know personal life, whatever, right? This is basically kind of an AFK gathering method, so, uh, and it's actually sadly macroable, but I don't recommend that, and I don't encourage that. Anyway, so here's the results of uh, six hours of, of chopping. Now, now it's six in real life hours have passed, but in reality, it's more like 20 minutes of chopping wood or less, because it takes like one minute to chop down all these trees. I'll show you in a sec what I'm talking about, okay? But um, even with full lumberjack gear and boiled cabbage i'm all, i've only got like 14 wildwood and four barb vine 2600 ironwood though so here's how it works you're going to be in reek water or, i'm sorry restless shore my bad restless shore you're going to take the shrine of sisyphos fast travel point and then you're going to run southeast along the road into this little area here if you take this rocky path here you won't aggro any mobs and i'm going to show you the how to sneak in through the front side okay so this is the compound this is an elite mob zone and i do have a previous video uh that was titled like how to climb mountains or something that showed how to go in here the back way but today i'm going to show you the front way so you want to make sure that your character is crouching and the reason for that is it it gives you more stealth and make sure that this guy is not facing towards you so you're just going to kind of crouch along there we go and being level 60 helps because you don't want to aggro any of these mobs Alright, then we're going to go up this way, and as long as you go here, and then walk along, whoops, I, I kind of messed up there, uh, but that guy did see me, but I'm just going to de-aggro him. Anyway, you would walk along this pathway, I think he'll de-aggro, maybe, can he shoot me from here? Let's see, I'm curious, <laughs> now nah, he can't, but you're going to walk along this pathway and then climb up the ledge, which you can't climb up here, you have to climb up at the stairway, okay? Then you would climb up here while still crouching, and you would get by undetected, but this guy detected me, so I'm just going to kite him over here and then blow him up. Just got to let him go up the stairs and follow me for just a sec. Uh, whatever, I'm just going to ignore him, because once I climb up here, he will de-aggro. Then you're going to go here, and you have to climb up this rock first. It's a little tricky. And then climb up here, and then you can grab this stairway. And then what you're going to do is crouch, and these guys won't aggro you, they just chill. And you're going to chop down some trees here to open a pathway. Once you do that, there is a patrol. You want to wait until this guy is walking to the right. And then you can sneak around behind him. Or you can just kill him. I could just kill the guy right now. But sometimes it does aggro mobs below this little room here. Okay, so he's pathing along that way. We're just going to Metal Gear Solid sneak around over here now. And then you're going to get to this big wall of trees. All right. So here's the trick, like there's two mobs right in front of these trees and th this is the trick. We're going to go ahead and eat our boiled cabbage. And then you're going to crouch. And as you chop the tree, once you finish chopping the tree, your character will automatically return back to a crouching animation. You don't want to spam the tree chop button here until your character sits back down. So after I chop the tree, see how I squat back down? Then I am safe to chop the next tree. If you do not do this, the mobs will aggro you because you will be making noise and alerting them to your presence. It's kind of silly how it works, but just spamming the E button right here will get you aggro and you'll have to fight these two archers. And then you want to be careful because uh, there are mobs, but they don't really patrol around here. I'm going to show you the safe spot to log out at after I chop down these trees and we're going to see what we get. You can use a proficiency potion. Uh, see how I let my character squat back down before starting the next one. You can use a proficiency potion if you want more iron wood, but really, the only thing that you want is uh, the the rare drops, the uh, the legendaries. So, uh, like I've been doing this all day. I think uh, what six plus hours now. I log in every twelve minutes. That's how long it takes for these to respawn. It's twelve minutes. Now, if you AFK here while logged in, they will sometimes grow back and sometimes they won't. So you have to log out and back in. Like if you if you go AFK in this spot for 30 minutes and you notice the trees aren't back, if you log off and then log back on, you will be able to see the trees. Also, if other players are in the area and you haven't logged off in a while, 
you will notice that they will be chopping invisible trees. All right, it's it's really weird how the game is coded and how it works. It's some sort of anti-bot AFK macro thing. I don't really know how to explain it. All right, so now once you're done chopping the tree, you're going to go to the side corner over here and there will be no patrols and no way to aggro anything as long as you're level 60. So you just go over here, still crouching, and this is where you would safely log out. So you, from here, you can just go to game menu and go to exit the main menu or exit to desktop. And then in 12 minutes from now, uh, we can log back in and chop the trees again and again and again. And now it does take one entire minute for your character to log out. You can see down here, I have 23 minutes on my luck uh, food buff for logging. When I log out via, you know, the main menu thing or exit the game, this will go down to 22 to 21 minutes. No matter how much time in real life passes, you will lose one, about one-ish minute here on this timer. Uh, so what this basically allows you to do is get at least 20 uh, sessions in on one food buff, cutting down all this ironwood. There's not really a faster way to harvest ironwood in the game. If you really want to min-max your ironwood uh, gaining uh, to your food buffs, you just come here. Like this is like I'm I'm playing other games right now, so I just log in every once in a while. I chop down the trees. I log out, and uh, we'll see how much uh, you know. Uh, legendaries I get. I also have my PvP gear swap in case I wanted to like fight or uh, someone or if there's tough mobs or whatever the heck, right? So the only other way to really get Ironwood is um, a lot of Ironwood is located near fast travel points, oddly enough, at Monarch's Bluff. Uh, you can go to Dread Sith Shrine. There's some Ironwood there and there. That's pretty easy. The big one, which is usually taken if you're on a more populated server, is in Eden Grove, you go to the Blighted Shrine, and it is located all throughout here. Right? And there, there's a bunch there, okay? Also, if you really don't want to AFK, you can actually run over here, and there's a bunch in this little area, and then you can run back and then use the Fire Staff trick to climb this mountain, and then you can get right back in here, easy peasy, and it will just be about time to respawn, like, the run from here to here, to chop down the trees and then run back, it's... It's not 12 minutes, it's it's faster, but it's something you can do if you want to remain active, but you will lose, you know, like 12 minutes on your food buff, and if you're okay with that, that's fine. I mean, it's literally just boiled cabbage. It's very easy to get. I've even made a video on where to find cabbage and stuff like that, so feel free to check that out. Otherwise, um, the, the rest of the fast travel points to get ironwood, they're pretty basic. I think there's a few here. I don't really remember all of them, but this is the best method in the game to get ironwood because it respawns faster than anything else in the game. This These trees have a 12 minute respawn timer when you're logged out or when you log out and back in. Uh, otherwise, uh, everything else is like 25 to 30 to 40 minute respawn timer. It's pretty silly. But if you need uh, wildwood and barbvine, I think there's another legendary drop too, but I don't remember what it is right now. Uh, this is how you would do it. Uh, something very, like, I'm not, I'm not getting very much here. This is like a whole day's worth, right? And right now, I think Ironwood's only like 50 cents each. So it's, it's not the worst coin farm. It's not really the best either. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. I'm Swole. Bidji, thanks for watching. As always, be a bro, stay swole. Leave a comment and a like if you do both. It's an algorithm cheat code. There's a YouTube combo. Also, if you reply to other people's comments and have a conversation, that's like another bonus. And 81% of you are not subscribed, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you tomorrow because I make a video every single day. Take care, lads.